Hello everyone, this is Vernon Martin from the Philosophy Department. This is the second of three short video tutorials to help you get your Blackboard courses into Canvas. The first video was moving files, and this is the second video, which is moving pages, where you'll learn how to move a page from Blackboard and put it into your corresponding Canvas course. Pages are areas of content in your course that you've created. So, for instance, here I am in my Blackboard course, my critical thinking course, and here's a page that has a bunch of content, some external links, some links to files, and I want to copy this mainly because I don't want to have to retype it uh, over again, and I like the way it looks, so I want to copy it and put it into Canvas. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Now remember, we've already copied over the files, which is going to be an important first step for a lot of this. So if you haven't seen that video, please uh, do that first step first. So here we are moving pages. Make sure that you have your internet browser with two tabs open. I'm using Firefox here um, because there's going to be a point at which I'm going to have to uh, place in some images and I want to resize them. And I can't do that using Google Chrome for some reason. So Firefox seems to work pretty good for this. So I've got one tab open to my Canvas course and one tab open to my Blackboard course. And this is the page I want to copy. So I go to the top of that page where that Chevron icon is. I click on it. A drop down menu shows up. I select edit from the drop down menu. Now I'm in edit mode. First thing I want to do is I want to get rid of these images. I click on them and I select delete because these are associated with um, links to a Blackboard server. So those files exist on a Blackboard server and that will just create confusion if I uh, put that information in Canvas. So what I've got now is I've got just text and uh, some of the text has links. External links or links to files. That'll be fine. The next thing I want to do is I want to find my uh, this little icon here, it's the HTML toggle icon. It looks like a little less than and greater than sign back to back. I want to click on that. That shows me all the HTML coding. I don't really care about that so much as I want to select all. And then I want to copy it all. So select all of that and copy it. Go to your Canvas course. And we want to create a page. So on the right hand side here, here's a tab that says create a new page. Click on that. The page I wanted to make was learning unit two. I can type that in or select it. Remember, you can always rename these later, even after you create them. Click create. And now I'm going to be in edit mode for that page. You know you're in edit mode when these edit icons show up. What I really am looking for here is the phrase switch views. Click on that in this upper right where my cursor is. That moves it into that HTML toggle mode. Click your cursor inside the box, it'll glow blue, and then you're going to paste all that HTML coding from Blackboard. There it is, it's all pasted in. Once you do that, click switch views again. And there it is. There's all that text. Now, what about those images? Let's get those in. Click your cursor where you want those images to go. And since previously you moved over your files from that Blackboard course, click on images over here. Find those images that were on our Blackboard page. It's this one, this one, and this one. So there's the, remember, make sure, put your cursor where you want the image. Here's the image. You just click on it once, and there it is. Now, I told you about resizing. For some reason, I can only resize using Firefox, and sometimes it works with Explorer. So my cursor's here. I give it a little space between that image. Let's find that other, those other two images. That'll be in my list here. I'm just scrolling through. Here it is. Click on that. 
that's a pretty good size maybe a little bit bigger match it up click next to it give it a space between the images let's find that last one there it is and that one I'm gonna have to shrink down a little bit so grab the corner of it bring it down and a little bit more okay so we're almost done the last thing you need to do is you need to link up any text that you have with the existing files that are on your canvas files the files here so the first step you have to do here is you have to unlink these because in the HTML coding this says look for this file on the blackboard server it's not on the blackboard server anymore it's on my canvas course it's on the canvas server so I need to unlink it and there's the icon in the canvas edit toolbar click unlink highlight it again go to your files and in your files I put my uh, handout files under handouts so again I've highlighted the text that I want associated with the file here's the file in file so I just click on that and it's linked up do that for any other type of file that is linked up here so here's a PowerPoint file I need to unlink highlight it again find that file it's going to be in lecture notes click it and it is linked up the last step here is to save changes and we are all set there's my page I created here's the links let's see if they work it wants to open with that that's fine let me drag it over it's opening up in a as a standalone file over here let me drag it over just to show you there it is so everything works and I just created a page in a fairly quick amount of time remember any link that you have this is an external link so it should open up there it is opens up in a new tab it's a video I'm having my students watch for this particular learning unit go back to that canvas page any link any text that is linked to a file you'll have to go through that process of unlinking it and then linking it to a to the to the file that's in canvas so uh, I hope this is helpful again if you have any questions send me an email at vmartin at sierracollege.edu and I'll be glad to help